the holder of the horde. In any city with more than half a dozen missing children, and in any country, make your way to a local bakery. This bakery must be family owned and separate from corporations. When you reach one, find the owner and ask for a sample of their best pastry. When they start to walk away, ask the question, From what flesh are they made? If they look at you confused, leave and find a new bakery. However, if they answer, From the flesh of the missing, you have found the right place. If you have reservations against your journey, if you feel that at any point your resolve could break, purchase a simple blueberry muffin and take a bite. If your god loves you as he should, you will be blessed with death. If he does not, the butcher will collect you and harvest you he shall. However, if this path is truly what you want, Ask the owner to see the place where they are made. The owner will smile at you, say, Of course, and lead you into the back room. Do your best to not scream. Here you will see the children that have gone missing. Their bodies will hang from the ceiling. Their blood will drip into machines that roar sounds of the ocean. This will soothe you as it does the daughter and pull your body into a deep lethargy, willing you to sleep. Do not succumb to this desire, or you will awaken to the face of the butcher and his teeth on your bone. As you walk, you will notice one child that is not being harvested. She will be high in the room, on a railing or perhaps a pedestal. This is the owner's daughter. Do not acknowledge her, for this place is her own creation, and if you distract her from her slumber, she will distract God from your soul, and you will cease to exist. Once you reach the back of the room, you will see a butcher knife covered in blood. Take it quickly, before the owner does, and cleave it into their skull. If you do not kill them in one blow, leave, for their scream will call for the butcher, and he will show you horrors unlike anything you've seen thus far. Killing the owner will cause the machines to cease function. The children will lower to the floor, and they will come to you, chanting your name as their savior. Each will offer you part of their body. Collect them. Do not cringe. Do not reject them. The daughter will also offer you a piece of herself. This part is key. Do not lose it. Once they have finished offering themselves to you, take their pieces to the oven and place them all into the largest muffin bowl you can find. If they do not fit, eat what spills over. Be sure to place the daughter's piece on top. Turn the heat and cooking time up as high as they will go, and wait. The children will become hungry as the scent of their cooking flesh fills the room, and they will look for sustenance. At first they will feed on each other, but eventually they will turn to you, the daughter commanding their souls. Use your other objects to keep yourself alive. The butcher may make himself known. Pray that he does not, for no artifact can protect you from his blade. Once the oven finishes baking, the children and the daughter will fall to the ground, lifeless. When you open the oven, you will find their souls trapped inside a single muffin. Take the muffin and leave being very careful to not allow anyone else to see or smell the muffin, for this object is crafted only for you. This is object 925. Take a bite. Let them in.